Okay, this is Jack Jackson. In the last six videos, six maybe seven videos, we've been talking about six uh, basic techniques of counting. So these would be called combinatorial techniques or counting techniques. And we're going to uh, just kind of review and summarize all those in this video. So the number of ways of permuting or ordering a set of n distinct objects is n factorial. Now this table here collects uh, four other counting arguments here. And everything in this table, n is the number of distinct items to choose from, k is the number of items that are chosen. But then we have two criteria. We either have the number of arrangements uh, where the order matters or the number of selections where the order does not matter. We either have repetition of items is not permitted, sometimes that's called uh, without replacement. And we also have repetition of items is permitted, or sometimes that's called with replacement. Okay, so the first one we did was this one right here, where the order of arrangements, uh, where the, the, the order matters and repetition was allowed, then that's just going to be into the k power. Next, we did this one here, which is the order matters and repetition is not allowed. That was n permute k which we could also write as n factorial over n minus k factorial. We could also write it as the product of a bunch of factors starting with n, then n minus 1, then n minus 2, and so forth until we get a total of k factors. Next we did this one in the upper right where the number of selections where the order does not matter but the number of um, repetition of items is not permitted. That was in choose k um, and we see some alternative notations for it there. In factorials, that was n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. Or in other words, it was n permute k divided by k factorial is another way to say that. So um, the examples we looked at, P was used for choosing a committee, uh, not a committee, a, a slate of officers where the order mattered, uh, repetition was not permitted. Okay, the NCK is um, the example we use uh, was a committee. Now, this one at the bottom right we do to fill out this table and finish it. The order does not matter and repetition of items permitted. This is the one we did in a previous video where we were going up to the window and buying a certain number of, of uh, fast food meals. So we have, in this case, we use n plus k minus 1, choose k. Uh, or another way is of getting the same thing as n plus k minus 1, choose n minus 1. This one, the bottom right corner, I will have in my class uh, on the homework, but not on any uh, practice test or exams. It'll just be one homework problem. These other three, however, will show up multiple times. And the last one that we did, just to review, is given a collection of n objects of k different types with objects of the same type indistinguishable. So now the objects are not all different. They're, some of them are the same. And the number of each type of object is n1, n2, up to nk. So all those add up to the total number of objects n. Then the number of ways of, number of uh, distinguishable ways of ordering the n objects is given by... n factorial over the product of these n sub j factorials. So n factorial over n1, n1 factorial times n2 factorial up to nk factorial. Okay, so that's a total of six different counting arguments. Uh, let's let's uh, do an example or a series of examples here where we get to use some of these uh, different ones. So in these, you're going to have to figure out which one of these counting arguments applies and then use it. Suppose you belong to a fraternity whose chapter membership consists of 18 seniors, 13 juniors, 21 sophomores, and 29 freshmen. So for each of the questions below, we want to briefly state the conditions that lead to the choice of the appropriate formula, state the general formula for counting the items in the question, show the substitution of the appropriate values, and give the final answer in the sentence. You're totally 
option or it's totally appropriate to use your calculator to do the actual computation. Now read each question carefully to make sure you have all of it. Question number one is how many members does the chapter have? And number two, how many non-freshman members does the chapter have? Number three, a special committee is to be chosen to consider improvements to the fraternity house. How many distinct committees of six people can be chosen from the members of the chapter? When you think you have this one worked out, come back. Press pause now. Well, to get the total members, you just have to add these up. 18 plus 13 plus 21 plus 29. That's 81 total members in the chapter. How many of them are not freshmen? Well, it would be 81 minus the 29, which is 52 non-freshman members. Now, on number three, notice that all the 81 members are eligible. Repetition is not allowed, but the order is not important, and we're choosing six. So that's just 81 choose six, which you can do that on your calculator and get this number here. Let me, let me double, tell you what, let me double check that. Okay, so there we go. That's Okay, I think we have this fixed now. So in this case, all the members are eligible, so there are n equals 81 members from which to choose. Here, repetition is allowed, and the order matters, choosing the k equals two distinct officers. So the number of officer slates is 81 to the second power, uh, 81 choices for the parliamentarian, and for each one of those, 81 choices for the sergeant at arms. Notice it has nothing to do with any of the other officers. So that's just 81 to the second power, 6,561. Okay, here's another question for you. The official fraternity animal is a hippopotamus. Fraternity computer uses permutation of all the letters in the words hippopotamus as its password. How many different passwords are possible? When you get this worked out, come back. Press pause now. Well, let's see. There's one A, one H, one I, one M, and one U, one T, one S, but there are two O's and three P's. So uh, for a total of 12 letters, so it's 12 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial, and the 1 factorial, as you can forget. Uh, and that works out to be, well, let's see, 3 factorial is actually 6, 2 factorial is just 2, 2 times 6 is 12. So the 12 actually cancels, that's 11 factorial. That works out to be 39,969,000, 39 excuse me. 916,800 possibilities there. The fraternity is holding a meeting over an informal dinner. The food committee is taking orders for dinner. Each member is given the following choices. A hamburger with fries, pepperoni personal pan pizza, 
two tacos with nachos, a ham sandwich, or turkey sandwich. Members are not allowed exactly one of these choices and may not place special orders. How many different orders are possible for the committee to take to the restaurant? And that's question seven. Question eight is there's a senior recognition ceremony. All seniors receive a pin. How many different orders can the pins be awarded? Let's start with number eight. There's a senior recognition ceremony. All seniors receive a pin. How many different orders can the pins be awarded? That's the number of ways to place n equals 18 distinct objects in order. So that's just n factorial or 18 factorial, which is, uh, let's see, let's see, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, six quadrillion, four hundred and six trillion, three hundred and seventy-three millions of billion, seven hundred five million, seven hundred twenty-eight thousand or approximately 6.4024 times 10 to the 15th different orders of uh, awarding these seniors their pins. Now we're replacing the food orders up here. Uh, we're making 81 choices, one for each member, from a set of n equals 5 meals. So k is 81, n is 5. Repetition is allowed, but the order doesn't matter to the restaurant. So the number of different possible orders is uh, n plus k minus 1, choose k. So that's 5 plus 81 minus 1 is 85. Choose 81 is 2,024,785. So if you look back at that, we actually did, uh, we reviewed all the different ways. And let's go back one more time. So the ways of ordering n distinct objects is just n factorial. We use that one when we're ranking the seniors. When we chose the meals, we were using this one in the bottom right corner here. When we did the two officers where they could be repeated, we used the n to the k power. We were choosing the five officers, four or five, I guess five officers, where they were uh, not repeated, they were up here. And we were choosing a committee, we used this one over here. So again, we have number of order, number of arrangements where the order matters, repetition is not permitted, that's permutation. If the repetition is permitted and the order matters, it's in it's a power function. If the number of selections where the order does not matter, it's a combination. It's just n choose k when you're not replacing it or the order uh, repetition is not allowed. If you do repetitions, then it's n plus k minus 1 choose k. And then when we, we ordered the letters hippopotamus, we use this formula right here. So hopefully that gives you a good, nice summary of uh, basic 